All the many ailments, many problems that human beings are suffering is simply because we have lost that awareness as to how to be in sync with the many forces which are making us who we are. So yoga is to bring that sync so that you are in rhythm with life. If you become in rhythm with life, you will also wake up somewhere just after 3 a.m. If you're conscious, suddenly a certain spark of aliveness will happen within you. Even if you're in deep sleep, you will come awake. This must happen to you. This means you're falling in sync with it. You're falling in sync with life. Physiologically, one important aspect of you is your heart, the pumping station for your blood circulation which pumps life across the body. This one thing doesn't happen, nothing happens. This starts from left side. So we told you, you know in India they have told you, when you wake up you must roll to your right side and get up, have they? Left side if you roll and get up, bad things will happen to you. Building oxygen into the blood is one of the important things because how healthy the body is, how easily it rejuvenates itself depends on a high level of oxygen in the blood and that capability will go down. Particularly women have to be careful on this because of the biological process. Just to tell you, for over twenty-five years, I have largely managed with an average of two and a half hours of sleep. Now I'm getting lazy and I'm sleeping, averaging somewhere around four and a half hours now. But seven days of the week, Okay, 365 days, non-stop, on, 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 ev almost every day. My daughter didn't call me for a month, I asked, what the hell is the problem with you, why are you not calling? She said, every six hours you're in the new city, what the hell I'm supposed to do? So I said, okay, <laughs> your geometry of the body and what goes into the system. If you just manage these two things, you'll see sleep quota will just come down like that. Any food that you eat, if it lasts over three hours, that means you've eaten bad food and that is something to be either avoided or reduced in quantity. If food moves out of your stomach bag within three hours, this means you're eating something that your system can handle efficiently. It may not be the best food, but your system is able to handle it. And between one meal and the next meal, if you create a clear gap of five to six hours and in between if there is no other ingestion, you will see the cleansing process in the system on the cellular level, cleansing will happen. This cleansing on the cellular level is most important and significant for a healthful life. So, before you go to bed in the night, there are certain things that you need to take care of. It's best if you're eating meat and other kinds of meals, you eat at least three to four hours before you go to bed. The digestion is over. Before going to bed, drink a certain amount of water and go to bed. You will see it gets taken care of just like this. So every day in the night, all of you should do this before you go to bed. Last three minutes, everything that you have gathered, the body, the content of the mind, things. Don't ignore small things, the small things are big things. So, your pillow, your footwear, if you have relationships, everything that you have gathered, keep it aside. See, I'm, this is getting too easy. Just sleeping sadhana, hmm? At least this you must do. If you become aware in a certain way. A certain level of awareness is achieved within you. You will see, you will simply know when that time is. If you go to bed at the right time, you don't have to look at your watch. You will always know when it is 3.40, because the body will behave in a different way. When you're in a certain state of relaxation, when the body is in a little relaxation, the metabolic activity is low. When you get up, there is a certain surge of activity. That's why they told you in India, 
all these things have built into your life which you're throwing away. The whole science of living has been built into your life. They told you in the morning before you wake up, you must rub your hands together and see like this, huh? Not see like this, you must place it upon your eyes. You do this, you will see God. It's not about seeing God. If you rub these two things together, all the nerve endings, there's a heavy concentration of nerve endings in your hands. If you do this, the system comes awake immediately. You're feeling asleep, you're feeling sleepy. Just do this and see, everything comes awake. Tomorrow morning, when you come awake, check, you're really awake or you're dead? If you're awake, it needs at least a little celebration. You don't have to get up and dance, at least you can smile, still on. If suppose right now, we put a gun to your head, will you think it's a relief? No, you'll be terrorized, isn't it? So that's how precious it is to be alive, isn't it so? That's how precious it is for you to be alive. So tomorrow morning, a quarter million people died overnight, but you're still alive. Does it not at least deserve a big smile, I'm asking you?